Good evening. Teacher John with a question about Microsoft Word. The student says, how do I get the color of text in a word? Given that I'm not using a proper style sheet, is there a way of making the color selector the same as the color of an existing word? So to answer this question, let's jump right into a Microsoft Word document that I'm going to use to demonstrate how to do this. I'm going to go to share screen and go to the application window and jump right in. Awesome. So you can see what I have here. I have a document that has several different uh, uh, colors within the first line here. And then on the next one I have some text, but it has some different um, fonts and some different sizes, all black text. And so the first thing that folks want to do is they want to grab a color. Let's just say this uh, purple color here and they hit the format button and they go down here and they'll say I want to make this that beautiful purple color oh no that's not what I wanted now I've lost all my formatting I lost the bold or I lost the italic or in this case I lost the font itself right that's not what I wanted and I don't think that's what the student wanted either so I'm gonna undo that change and I'm gonna show you how to do this right this is awesome. Let's say I want this beautiful blue color here. So I'm going to select that word that is the color that I want and I want to show you some magic. Let's look up here. We're in the home tab and I'm looking inside the font group and I notice that my color selector right now for the font color is a red. Now watch the magic here. I've already selected the word that I want to emulate. I'm going to click the caret symbol beside the font color selector I'm going to go down and hit more colors and here's the magic notice that it automatically right sampled that color and all I do now is hit OK now the font color selector is that same exact color so I can now go down here and it doesn't matter what font I'm using I can change it to color it doesn't matter what size I'm using I can change that color right I can even go over here and say this is new text, right? And I can give it some completely different, for example, some sizing. And let's make it a totally different font. And let's highlight it and choose our font color selector. How awesome, right? So what I got was the essence of what the student wanted. I got to keep the color and transfer it from one place to the other without transferring the other attributes. Let's do it one more time to make sure we know what we're doing. We're going to choose this unique orange color. So I'm just going to select the word that's the color I want. Again, I'm going to go up and choose not the font color selector, but the caret symbol beside it. I'm going to go down and choose more colors you'll notice that it sampled the color and it says this is the color you have highlighted I hit OK the magic happened and now I'm gonna go up here and say well let's make this color orange I'm sorry this text and this text orange and this text orange and while we're at it let's make our whole new sentence orange again what you'll see is we got all the color and none of the formatting great question Glad you asked, and I hope you have a great evening. Bye-bye.